Welcome to my channel Heart Meet Spirit. This channel is intended to support you improving and changing your life. Live a life of love, trust and confidence. Enjoy. Uh, people always ask me like how do I create you know the person uh, of my dreams that I want uh, in my life and I always say take out a piece of paper uh -huh. write down everything you want in that person and then become it that's it because um, so many people have so many interesting definitions about what they think love is right and so uh, some people have it in terms of need some people have it in terms of sexuality, some people have it in terms of control and, and dominance and success. And so those are different experiences that really don't lead to this concept called love. In a relationship where we're talking about men and women, uh, the number one thing is having the same purpose. That if you have a purpose to truly be your best, and you're a person in your life that wants that same thing, well, you're heading in the same direction. And if your passion is to change the world, if your passion is to make a difference, if your passion is to end world hunger, if your passion is to resolve global warming, your passion is to, uh, to lead by example, whatever, whatever your passion is, to have an abundant life doesn't matter to me. And uh, those two people share that very same purpose and they're moving in the same direction. If they understand then that evolution means that that there will be certain things that we can agree to agree on and that I'm going to bring my best to the relationship and you bring your best to the relationship then we have something in common and when I'm not at my best I'm going to excuse myself and not ask you to make me feel better I'm going to make sure that I'm sovereign enough that when I uh, make my way back to connect with you that we are going to celebrate our triumphs. You have your world, I have my world. Let's, let's, let's go and then when we connect, let's make sure that we, we reflect what we've learned. If I'm stuck and I need a perspective, I want to know your perspective, but only when I ask. If I'm ready to ask, then give me your greatest truth. That's what great relationships do. We support one another in that way. And then, and then it's a give and take, which means then mistakes will be made. Uh, there will be challenges. You are going to show certain aspects of a program when you're switched on. No problem with that. But the question is, how long are you going to stay there? Because if you stay there, then you may say something, I want this with your conscious mind, but your subconscious mind is saying something else. People awakening on the path, on the journey, uh, uh, it takes great effort uh, to, to nurture the space for that kind of evolution. But people who do this well, that are self-aware, do not have to work in a relationship. I will not work in a relationship, that's not my job. If I'm working in a relationship, then it's not flowing. If you bring your best and I bring my best, and we celebrate our efforts every single day, we talk about what we've learned, we talk about if we had another opportunity, how we could do it better. If I allow you to take your thought all the way to the end, and I say, then how can I support you? How, how can I bring that out? And what would be the best thing? And if you lose that sense of purpose or you fall from grace, how can I, in that moment, what, what do you want me to tell you if I notice it? To tell me the exact words, like, you're doing it again. Okay, okay, okay. Not like, you're doing it again, but like, hey, hey, you're doing it again. So that the person can, oh, get back on purpose. Now that, that begins to create a great bond. And that bond is built on true love. I think when we have a purpose that's bigger than us, it's the highest form of motivation, mission motivation duty motivation, purpose motivation, when we have a selfless vision that's bigger than us, I think we're wired to be that, that the living organism called the species of human beings, it is a living organism. And in, in this current era, the age of selfish individuality has to die. That we are a species, and the species of a living organism takes care of one another. They heal one another. They educate one another, they teach one another, they inspire one another, um, they give to one another, they, they serve one another. That's, 
That's what a living organism does. They, they cooperate, communicate, collaborate with one another. That's, a, that's what it does. And so we are, we are wired to be communal. We are wired to create common unity, community. And that community is built on the frequency of love. And when you come from love, you, you come from a different consciousness. It's no longer about you. You feel so amazing. You feel this feeling that isn't going away. That the only thing you want to do is have other people feel what you're feeling. And the only way we do that is to give. We say, I feel so amazing. I want you to feel the way I feel. So I don't need this here. Take that. That kind of community is goes counter to the current situation in the world where everything's breaking down. But this is a time where we have to demonstrate what that new community looks like. So when you have connection, when you have community, when you have true friendship, the person's really just giving because there's something unusual about them and you're worthy enough to receive. And you feel that feeling of receiving that you want to give to somebody else. Uh, you, how you create a very different consciousness. You create a common unity or a community that's bonded and connected in the frequency of love. And then when love is the common frequency, it's very difficult to break that community up because it's the glue that holds them together. So that's my vision of where I'd like to go with this work. When you start falling in love with your future, oxytocin is released in the brain and in the heart. Oxytocin signals nitric oxide. Nitric oxide signals another chemical called endothelial derived relaxing factor. And just like when your sexual organs get filled with blood because you're aroused, the same thing happens here as it would happen somewhere else. And literally the arteries in the heart and lungs engorge and now your heart feels full and it's thumping in order and you're in the present moment. Now once that happens and it's beating in rhythm, the heart produces an external magnetic field up to three meters wide. Now, you're in survival, you're drawing from the field and turning into chemistry. When you get energy in the heart, it's causing a change in the brain, and all of a sudden it's resetting the baseline for trauma, and now here you have a magnetic field. Now the heart is your magnet. It is, it is the center of creation, and now that, that energy is frequency, and frequency carries information. You can lay the thought of your new relationship on that energy because it's consistent with it. If you are going to prepare your brain and body for a new relationship, then you would have to become love completely every day. And that signal then that you're sending out into the field can carry the thought of your health, your wealth, your relationship, or whatever. But here's the cool part. When the heart is activated like that, and you feel so whole, so in love with life, so satisfied in the moment, so exuberant, that it's impossible to want. Now you're no longer in lack. Now you're so whole that you will magnetize wholeness in your life. Oh. The person who's the person that fits the mold energetically, that would be the same as you and yet complement you so that the two can become one.